Dio. People only seem to want power. Do they really want to be like me? I wanted to learn so much more from you. Ace! Oh my, those are nasty wounds! Damn. So they got Veil too. It just keeps getting worse. He wasn't exactly the nicest person, but he didn't deserve to go out like this. Poor baby, I'll take care of you. Ah, I wonder how the others are doing. I feel they're coming. They're close. Really? Uh, that's some talent. Quite impressive indeed. Well then, shall we go welcome your friends? Welcome them with Breath of Fire music. Oh, Amiartes! We've been double-crossed! And I'm pleased to announce that. We managed to escape with our lives thanks to NCS. I got to know this lady who had close contact with the Emperor. After a few drinks and a long night, she told me everything. <laughs> so, your dream of sleeping with a girl from Ornix actually came true! Hey, watch your mouth. There are ladies present. And Leo's gone. Dead. What? How? Kefka showed up and went ballistic. The Espers, too. All gone. We were all but powerless to stop it. Why am I not surprised? Such a senseless waste. He was their finest soldier. I respected him. We need to rethink our plans. Let's return to the airship. Suppose I could accompany your party, Star. And who are you, sir? You're gonna love this. He's a moon inhabitant from a destroyed planet who bravely fought in the Magi Wars. Well, that's the gist of it. We can go over the finer details later. Oh, I see. Uh, you're right, Star. I needed that. Now, back to reality. <laughs> we must expect the Emperor to flex his newfound muscle soon, so let's... I fear that we are dealing with a threat far more dangerous and sinister than Gestal. Can't you elaborate, old man? One thousand years ago, the Heroes of Light managed to defeat the demon called Zeriel, but he left his most vicious threat with his dying breath. He said that he would return in 1,000 years and eradicate all life on Vea. The legend of the Dark Sorcerer, right? Indeed. Now when that Kefka attacked us, I got knocked out pretty bad. But then, I heard something terribly familiar. That wretched laugh. I will never forget that terrifying sound. You mean to say that Kefka is... There is no doubt in my mind. The one you all know as Kefka is the reincarnation of Zarel, the Dark Sorcerer. He has returned from death to find the statues and destroy this world. So you're not making this up. Sorry, I wish that was the case. Moon inhabitants! Dark sorcerer! If I knew you were going to tell me a story, old man, I would have brought a drink! Wait a sec here. That's, uh, all seems I did! Well then, here's to you! So what do you think his next move would be? If I had to guess, he wouldn't reveal himself just yet. I would assume he would try to locate the statues as soon as possible. If he does that and absorbs the power used to seal them away, he'll be unstoppable. And to make matters worse, he has absorbed several pieces of magicide as well. Then we have to stop him and put an end to this. Agreed. We must act too quickly we must act quickly before he becomes too powerful. I'm going to Not a chance. <laughs> this isn't a game, little girl! This is a war! Yeah! Who's this meathead anyway? Watch your mouth, Pee-wee! That's no way to treat a lady! How about I summon something real nasty for you, huh? Ah, <laughs> stop! Very well, then. 
if you must. Good choice. All right, let's go. What's wrong, lover boy? How old are you? Eight. Why? I'm joining the party too. Ah, <sighs> don't try to grow up too fast. You'll be an adult before you know it. Hey, you guys, wait up for me! And go ahead and do a quick save, but before we head back to the airship, there's one thing to do in town. And, yep, talk to this guy. Greetings, I'm Klaatu, warrior extraordinaire from the Red Moon. First time I've been back here in years, and the village looks trash. What happened? A uh, long cutscene. Klaatu? Is that you, Poulter? You still plan on defeating Kraid? You'll never change. That's just who you are. For hundreds of years, you've hunted that dinosaur-like beast not of this world. But you quit before you found him. I didn't quit. The monster lives on Zibi's Isle, which has been submerged for quite some time. Ugh. <laughs> Some hero you are. And so that's just a little bit of backstory for him. And once we get back on the airship, we get more cutscene. The Emperor is going after the Dimensional Gateway. He's looking for those statues. Blast it. Oh, those foolish espers! Do you think they actually opened the gate for us? The statues should be just ahead. Once I get my hands on them, I'll have everything I ever dreamed of! Come quickly! Oh, my laugh is obligatory at this point! You ought to know that by now! What's wrong, Demo? It's... something terrible. The entire planet is screaming in pain. Yep. Now, that was an uninhabited continent. Why were there people there? Oh, to showcase the the carnage and get us an, get us an emotional reaction, I guess. <laughs> no, this is power! This is my magic sight! No, nothing can stop me! I will live forever! <laughs> it's a floating island! They ripped it right out of the ground! We're too late. The statues have already been activated. That's them? The source of magic? The three statues' positions are extremely vital to their stability. If they should ever be moved out of alignment, the resulting imbalance of power would... Bring destruction and ruin to this world. What? Not just yet. We're gonna change up the party really quick. And of course, unequip the espers because I'm gonna I'm gonna completely change up the party just a little bit. I want to bring in, of course, uh, not just some heavy hitters for the moment. And, yeah, these guys will do. And, uh, uh, actually, I should give them the vendetta back. And, so that's good. Uh, in terms of relics. Got the Ninja Sight and Dwarf Bracer. Oh, uh, Aurora still has the Talisman. That's okay. Because uh, I do want to get into battles. Well, at least for one part. 
But a couple side quests opened up. First stop, I'm gonna head back to that Hermitage. And that was down here. Come into the Hermit's Hideaway. The Dark Sorcerer's returned and the world is doomed! I truly thought this day would never come. Listen, I may be able to help you after all, but it's not what you think. I can transform this orb into a powerful weapon of light that grows strong as your HP increases. With it, you can help save this world that I've come to love. Please do not try to stop me. The choice is mine and mine alone. And with that, we get our own lightsaber. Yep, sadly, we left Leo's in his grave. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Because the next one is fairly luck-based. And no, it's not as bad as the auction house, but it's like a 1 in 16 chance. So you may notice, yeah, there's a cave opened up there, and this is the force I was talking about where I fought Hydras for magic grinding a few parts ago. But along with that, a special unique enemy opened up. And I need to equip some relics. So, first strike for you. And I'm just gonna, gonna give a couple things. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, power glove. There we go. So in this little patch of desert, we can encounter a unique enemy. And that's not it, but yeah, it's could it's could it'd take a while. Meanwhile, nobody seems to care we have a skeleton in our party. So, uh, try another one for now. And Sun Spider. Well, in this case, I'm going to uh, cut out oh, until I get what I'm looking for. I'll be back. All right, so we've got the cute UFO, an enemy that only appears at this point. And pretty rare. This is about a 1 in 16 chance. I had to I'll try it multiple times to get it. But it's not too bad. Yeah, it does have high evasion, a lot of elements, resistances. Okay, but weak to lightning. I'll take that. But, yeah, not, not too hard to kill. Reward, eh, a little bit of experience. Okay, 10 spell points. Yep, that that is the main thing to fight them for. So if you want to if you want to bother fighting them here or fight the Hydras in the forest, they're probably the best way to grind magic points at this point in the game. Well, with that done, let me uh, rearrange the config a bit. And now we can just hop right in here. Should I just save while I was on that other tile? Oh well. So, Pirate's Hideout, complete with FF5 pirate music. And this is a little optional old dungeon with some with some good stuff. Ah, no, they took their time dying. Eh, slightly more difficult than the enemies on the Empire Continent, but not overly... Not really worth the amount of trouble. Since, yeah, you get the same amount of stuff, experience in, gold, in Gil, from the enemies on the Empire. Not this nice little change of pace. Ooh. Immune to fire. Well, not immune to havoc unless it misses. Thank you, Avalon. Encounter rate! Ah, uh, they're coming back to haunt us. That's what we get, that's what we get for having undead in the party. And yeah, this dungeon is basically made up of a combination of previous maps. This it is original. It's not that long, but yeah, the encounter rate. 
And hey, the zombies from the Magitech Research Laboratory all migrated here. Migrated, not migratroided. <laughs> oh, also immune to fire. Now in that case, just attack. <laughs> Uh, I still got that blazing claw equipped. But not that it matters. <laughs> nice little bit of overkill. Just hack that zombie to pieces. And this is the last room. So the treasure room. Then we got the ship wrecker, which is an accessory for Otis, which turns his uh, jump into a guilt toss. It's a crumpled note. Today I witnessed a metallic disc flying object while exploring the small patch of desert to the south. Yep. It's away fast. Fast as lightning and did not return. Needs to say there's a life-changing and powerful experience. I don't know that UFOs are real. And they're cute! But I did the UFO on purpose, just because it was easier to do so. Nice little bit of treasure. Decent accessory. But with that, we are done in here. Uh, does anyone have teleport? Thank you, Ronan. And one last little thing we can do for getting ready for some off-screen grinding is, well, since we did open up Miss Castle by clearing the minigame back at the banquet, well, now's a good time to check it out and see what we can find. Yep, let's uh, just bring Avalon back to back to the source of his painful memories. Uh, as if we ever learned tact in RPGs anyway. Atomic Ball, yeah. So we couldn't get in here because, uh, uh, well, whatever his name was, was blocking it. I don't remember the names of the temporary party members in this. You never see them again. <laughs> but for the most part, what did become available is uh, found on a different path. If you have to go upstairs. But the other main thing is there's a treasure room. I keep thinking there's something in there, but nope, every time. Gets me every time. Yep, want to come in here. So a couple chests in here. So, ooh, a quick ring. I like the, I like the sound of that. And, yeah, well, 10,000 gills. So, all in all, basically the accessory is the main thing. So the, what does the quick ring do compared to the speed boosts? Just raise the speed and evade. Oh, that's a very nice evasion. So I may, I may give that to, to Ronan or someone else who is uh, dual wielding and not doesn't have a shield equipped I'll decide that a bit later on but yep I'm going to do some off screen grinding between parts and uh, we'll head for the floating continent afterwards fun stuff <laughs>